Hello friends today i am going to discuss a very important topic of theory of computation that is construction of dfa from a given language so before moving to the construction of dfa let's see what do you mean by the dfa dfa is nothing but a discrete finite automata so what is the use of finite automata to draw the regular grammar so there are a four types of grammar first one is regular grammar second one is context free grammar third is context sensitive grammar and last one is recursive enumerable grammar so if we want to identify this regular grammar then we can use here dfa so let's see how to start or how to construct a dfa so my first problem is how to construct a dfa for language consisting of string which are ended with a particular substring so if your language is l and if that l consists of some string that is a w and that w consists of some strings and that can be ended with a particular string so how to construct the dfa for that language so if we want to construct a dfa then we have to follow some steps so my first step is calculate the minimum number of dfa state if length of string is n then number of states are n plus 1 so if you want to calculate the minimum number of dfa then here formula is a n plus 1 so what do you mean by the n n is nothing but your length of string now after calculating the minimum number of dfa our second step is decide the string okay now after deciding the strings we have to follow the third step that is always prefer the existing path so while designing your dfa we have to prefer your previous path and after constructing your full dfa we have to send all the left possible combination to the starting state only so that is one restrictions in a your first problem if your language consists of one string and that is ended with a particular string so that time we cannot send all the left possible combination to the dead state we have to send to only the starting state so these are the four steps now let's see how to construct the dfa so this is example number 1 so draw a dfa for the language accepting string ending with a 0 1 over input alphabet sigma is equal to 0 comma 1 so in this problem there are a two input symbol 0 and one now how to construct that dfa for that we have to follow these last four steps my first step is calculate the minimum number of state so what is the formula for calculating the minimum number of state n plus 1 so here what do you mean by the n n is the length of string so here my string is 0 1 so here n means what length of string so my value is n is equal to 2 so how will get that uh, two value because in your substring there are two values 0 and 1 so my value of n is 2 so my answer is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 now after calculating this one next step is we have to define the string now how to define the string so you can see there are a three strings so how to calculate the string simply there is a one trick first we can write here 0 1 second again write the 0 1 third again we have to write the 0 1 0 and 0 1 why we are writing this three strings because my minimum number of dfa is a 3 now how to write that string or how to define that string first write this 0 1 as it is second time just write the 0 1 and take this 0 so we'll get here 0 0 and third times we can take this 0 1 so my string is 
zero one zero one. So this is the simple trick to calculate your string. So my first string is zero one, second string is zero zero one, and third string is zero one zero one. Now this is your string construction. Now our next step is just construct the DFA for this three string. So just take the first string zero one. Now how to draw the DFA? Simply take the three circle. First one is Q one, second one is Q two, and third one is your Q two. Q zero, Q one, and Q two. So here. Q zero is my initial state. Q one is my intermediate state, and Q two is my final state. Now, how to identify this state is a final state? When we are saying this is a concentric circle, that means this is your final state. And Q one is called as a intermediate state, so it is lies between your Q naught and Q two. So Uh, this is lies between your initial state and your final state. So, how to draw this uh, string over your DFA? Simply, we write here zero and we write here one. So, we can say that your Q two is a final state that can be accepted that zero and one. Okay. So, this is your first step to draw the DFA for the zero one. Now next one is draw the DFA or the construct the DFA for your zero zero one. Simply again follow the same step. There are three state Q naught, Q one, and Q two. So simply first we write here zero over this arrow. Next one is Q one. Okay. Now this Q one carries your zero. And again, this Q one carries the one. Now here there is one important thing. When we draw the self loop, self loop means what? This loop is a maybe optional or maybe it's a compulsory. So here the straight arrow uh, said that this one is a compulsory. So here we can say that it accept zero, zero, and one. So my second string is zero, zero, one. Is accepted by the Q two, right? Now my third string is that is zero one zero one. Now how to accept it? Again, write the or draw the three state Q naught, Q one, and Q two. So first here we'll take here zero. Next Q one can take again zero. Again your one and zero. But how to write this transition? First, take this zero, this zero, then take this one, then take this zero, again take this one. So we can say that Q two can accept zero one zero one. So here we omit this zero. So finally we'll get here zero one and zero and again. One. So in this way, we can construct the DFA for three string. One is zero one. Second one is here zero zero one or the zero one zero one. Or we can take any any kind of strings which are ended with the zero one and zero one. Now next one is your last step is after construct. Constructing this DFA, we have to check whether Q naught carries the both symbols. We have the two input. One is zero, and second one is your one. So Q naught carries only the zero. So what is our step? Just send all left possible combination to starting state only. So Q naught is my starting state. So here. In a previous uh, slides, we can see the Q naught carries only the zero. So we can draw here one self loop, and over self loop, I'm just writing the one. Now check this Q one. Whether Q one carries zero and one? Yes, it carries zero plus. One, so there is no need to write anything, or there is no need to uh, draw anything. 
right now just check the q2 so this q2 carries only the zero but there is no one so again send this left most possible bit to q0 because q0 is your starting state so what is the restrictions in this dfa construction the same all left possible combination to the starting state only do not send all the uh, left combination to the dead state only now same way we can construct a dfa for this problem so what is my problem number 2 uh, if your language consists of a string starting with a particular substring so here simply my formula is n plus 2 and there is one restrictions here do not send all leftmost possible combination to the starting state so here we have to send all the combination to the dead state only so this is our construction of dfa